57 Saturday kickoff from pep rallies to priesthood. ABC 57's Vahid Sadrazadi joins us now with a story of how a former leprechaun got a higher calling. Vahid? Hey, Allison. Seeing is believing. For Father Andrew, the journey to priesthood started on the playing field. It's not living a dream, it's living a reality that is heaven on earth. Abiding ambassador, courageous commander, pious priest. Father Andrew Budzinski delivers daily a message of hope, faith, and forward to the many that pray in these pews at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Fort Wayne. A South Bend native, Father Andrew, as they call him now, was even a priest in a play. It was Anything Goes. It was my last, it's the last musical, last play I ever did in my life. It was my senior year. And I played this uh, guy who was uh, a criminal disguised as a priest. You know, I never thought anything of it. Just thought, yeah, it's cool. And then it wasn't until a couple of years after being ordained a priest, I went, wait a minute, I, I dressed up like a priest for that musical. So God's got a great sense of humor. It was like he was saying, hey, guess what? Uh, I got some big plans for you. But believe it or not, the congregation wasn't always the calling for this cleric. I thought about being a priest when I was in kindergarten. I thought about being a priest. Then it's like, no, I want to be an astronaut. Then it was, I'll be an actor. Then it was, I'll be in radio. In fact, um, I really didn't become really aware of it until my mid-20s. A student at Notre Dame, Father Andrew confesses he was not a devout Catholic, rather taking interest in the Irish. I grew up a Notre Dame fan, huge football fan, loved it. And as fate would have it, this father found folly in a different kind of sanctuary. Oh, there's Norm from Cheers and then uh, Spike Lee there. So you'd see these guys at games and you could just walk up to them because, hey, I'm the leprechaun. On that campus, when you're the leprechaun, everyone knows your name. Everyone knows uh, where your hometown is, what dorm you live in. Um, so all of a sudden, through no merit of your own, you're thrust into instant you know, popularity. From 1993 to 1995, the Bud Man delivered happiness. It was living the dream. It really was. In a house that Rockney built. You're standing for something. When you're the mascot, you're a symbol. You're a figure for a larger thing. Now I'm in a position where, again, I'm standing for something bigger than me and ultimately not pointing to me, but pointing to God. Just as the leprechaun, you know, doesn't really point to himself, he stands for something bigger, he stands for the university. And though he didn't know his calling then, Father Ted was always an inspiration. He would say mass every single day as a priest, and I've done the same thing. Um, I remember that. Years later, while the green has turned to black, Memories of Touchdown Jesus are forever forged in his life. That brings me great joy. Doing something like the Leprechaun, being a representative, being out there in front of people, having to speak to a great number of people, uh, be on your good behavior, things like that. I think it definitely did uh, prepare me for, you know, my lifelong vocation. Whether the luck of the Irish are just meant to be, Father Andrew calls his journey a blessing. I came here two years ago, new parish, and they know about it, but it's not a huge deal to them. And that's actually kind of a relief that they see me more as spiritual father, their priest, than former leprechaun. Thank God. And Father Andrew in his office, when you walk in there front and center, has his leprechaun outfit that he wore from 1993 to 1995. He's watching today. Father Andrew, such a big fan of Notre Dame, still. And we're going to be right back. You're watching ABC 57 Saturday kickoff.